So a few weeks ago, I asked you, what should we make next? We had four options that we can choose from. Agile project management, expense tracking, inventory management system, and issue tracking system. I'm pleased to say that the results have come. Basically, people have voted on what system they would like to see next. Actually, there were mixed responses. Some people wanted to see expense tracking system, some people issue tracking system, agile inventory. And here is the winner when it comes to the number of votes. And the winner is inventory management system. A lot of people very interestingly wanted to see uh, the next version of the or sort of version two of the inventory management system, which we should develop next. And this is what we are going to do in the next series that is coming up. Now, what are the features I'm planning to build? What are the features that will be part of this inventory management system? And those features are, number one, product management, of course. We'll have product creation uh, catalogs. We'll have categories and classification of products. We will have uh, the features that will we can attribute, uh, define the attribute of the products and specifications of the products we can define for the warehousing purpose. Then we'll have another module which is about the stock control. Basically, we'll talk about the real-time tracking of the inventory levels, reorder points, safety order management, etc. will be part of the stock controls will uh, build features that will be around supplier management, which means we will keep record of the suppliers, we'll manage the suppliers, the credit terms, etc., and we will manage their uh, contact details also. We will be looking at creating the purchase orders, tracking those purchase orders, supplier performance and lead time analysis also will be doing. Then we will be looking at order management. Uh, we will build, of course, the sales functionalities, uh, the ability to create the sales orders and process the sales orders. And we will also look at the back order handling as well. If you don't know back order, sure, I will let you know what is back order. And we have to build that feature in the application as well. Customer relation management, which is CRM. And customer relation management uh, would be around keeping the customer's database, who are our customers, who will be uh, building the functionality to track uh, the order history, and we will be perhaps uh, categorizing or, you know, we will uh, give a functionality to users to identify the top 10 customers and they can have it on their uh, dashboard, etc which will help them to maintain proper relationship with the customers. We'll be looking at the returns management. We will see uh, return authorization, processing, issuance of refunds, uh, invoices to the customers. So all of these we will build in this uh, particular application. We'll also be looking at accounting management. So accounts payable, accounts receivable, of course, accounting itself is a huge module. I'll not be developing everything, but at least we will develop the basic module of the accounting or financing. Now, having said that, as you can see, this is a lot of work. That means a lot of my time will be invested in making these videos. A lot of my time is making videos, guys, is just one part. You know, we have to, before even making video, I have to think of the um, system, the database schema, the relationships, the user interface, how the process will work, how the flow will work. So all of that. So it's a lot of hard work that goes into this video. So what I uh, expect from you minimum, minimum expectation is at least you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and watch the video, you know, uh, my analytics says that on an average people watch my videos for two minutes. I know it's kind of boring, uh, you know, for people who may not be interested in in making or developing softwares, but those who are, 
I would encourage you that you do watch until the end so you get to know what development goes into what are the thought processes goes into another thing i want to mention that a lot of people say oh, can you send me this entire database well i can send you that will make your job easier actually you will just tweak it a little bit and use it wherever you wish to uh, but you know you will not learn anything because learning if you if you are really interested in learning that you have to uh, have hands on um um uh, practical expertise and that's what these uh, sort of series or video series will help you to develop those expertise so bare minimum is subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon i also want to mention that uh, portion of these uh, videos which will include this inventory management system will be the member specific so you have to be member of my channel to watch the full stuff uh, because i'm not going to uh, publish everything because there are few members i have on my channel so thank you so much if you are listening appreciate it and uh, you know i have to give them something which is specific dedicated for them and if you want to learn in detail everything that uh, I, then i would encourage you that you also become member and now i do get messages comments email saying how to be member well it's quite easy go to the channel and i'll also add a video at the end of this video uh, which will demonstrate how to be become a member so i do encourage you guys it's as i said this a lot of hard work goes into these videos so bare minimum i expect that you support me and my channel and so i can keep making these videos now having said that let's look at the tech stack what we are going to do is uh use what tools we are going to use to build this application now historically i have been making videos on microsoft access which means the back end and the front end both are developed on microsoft access historically i'm doing that but uh i'm going to change a little bit so we'll have front end on microsoft access and we'll have a back end on sql server that means may you maybe all of you or maybe some of you are aware of sql but not most of you are aware of sql that leads to me thinking that it would be uh better or it would make sense to first introduce to all of you to the sql server so then when we get into making the inventory management system it becomes easier for you to actually uh and uh, start working on the sql and make the inventory management system if we will get right into sql and start making the inventory management system those who do not know those who never worked on microsoft sql server they will be struggling a bit so that's why i thought first before making inventory management a video series i will make a video series or video series on the sql itself so couple of videos not much will just go through the basics for example uh, you know how to create database in sql how to uh, create table in sql how to use the data types how to create a relationship in sql and stored procedures and there are many things in sql that you can learn and you can become expert in it it's really widely used a database in the world so uh, you know it is going to be very beneficial for you if you will uh, uh, learn this and then once we are uh, done with sql series probably 8 10 videos will make not more than that once we are done with that then we will move into the inventory management system then it will be much easier for all of us to be on the same page and we will develop this application together I hope you like my plan what I'm thinking about uh, any thought any suggestion uh, do leave in your in the comments of this video your thoughts your suggestions are welcome all right so that's it that's what I wanted to talk to you about so watch out for the next video which will be about Microsoft SQL server I will introduce you to SQL how to install how to download and perhaps a little walk around of the sql 
server management studio as well so watch out for that and again subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon and so you can get the notification let me know your thoughts i'll be waiting and i'll see you in the next one very quickly i'm sure you have been enjoying the video and if you are why don't you join my channel by going to the main page of the youtube channel my youtube channel and click on the join button right here and you will get a pop-up and right here you can join the channel you'll get the perks like the members specific content you'll get the perks like you will get to see the video first and then it will be published to the channel audience channel viewers on the youtube so quickly join by visiting the main page if you don't want to visit the main page that's okay you can you are watching hopefully the video and from the video itself you can click on join and you'll be able to get the same screen and you'll be able to join the channel here thanks very much you will be supporting me and you will be supporting this channel so i can keep creating this fantastic content for you